me, Millie here with another vlog, but this time it's a bit different because I have recently changed my job. You might have seen I was previously working for a marketing company and I spent one year there and I learned a lot, but I have since moved on and I was given the opportunity to start an internship at a cosmetic company here in Seoul. This cosmetic company already has pretty good footing in Korea, so they're trying to branch out to new international markets. So I'm actually from the US, so that's kind of where I come into play. I do a lot of work with influencers, organizing collabs, negotiations. I also handle all of the English content for the Amazon website and SNS. So the USA team is pretty small at the company since we're just starting out, and I kind of like it because we're very tight knit. I really like this internship because I feel like I have a lot of autonomy and I really feel like even though I am an intern, my opinion is always listened to and they always, you know, take my advice and I really appreciate that. To be honest, it's not so easy to find internships in Korea as a foreigner and I want to say that I am not super good at Korean. I do understand Korean and I can use it decently you know it's not like i don't know it at all but my speaking is not great i'm very low confidence thankfully my team can speak english so they speak korean to me and i speak english to them and it just works that being said i think i got lucky with this i can't say that there's so many internship opportunities if you can't speak korean but don't be discouraged there definitely are some i'm living proof that you can do it even if your korean's not great don't let anyone make you think you're not valuable just because of your korean level it's not true and you can find a company that you could help that being said i think the best thing to do is to find a company that's trying to do business in your home market. For example, I'm working primarily with marketing and sales, so I need to have a very in-depth knowledge of American consumers and culture and our holidays and our promotions, you know, things like that. That's the kind of stuff that's very hard to know about unless you grew up in that culture. You might have to search extra hard, maybe it's not super common, but I really recommend trying to find specific companies that are doing business in your home country or a market that you're very familiar with. Anyway, that's a little bit about what I do. So why don't you say we just get going? It's 7 a.m. bright and early. <laughs> mascara malfunction. So I just arrived and I've got my name tag and now it's just a short walk to the buildings. about our posting schedule for this week. Um, she's in charge of making all of the visual media and then I collaborate with her and I write all of the English caption content. So we're currently working on the SNS schedule right now and that's what I'm gonna get started on. We had a few schedule changes for this week so I just got a message from my coworker. She um, reserved some sleep capsules for us for lunchtime. <laughs> Here she is inviting me to go sleep in a capsule during lunch. <laughs> Another very important part of my morning schedule is to talk with my coworker about what we're gonna do for lunch. We're gonna order in today. So we really like this place called Fresh Code. It's like really healthy food, but it's super affordable. So we like to order into the office and let me see what I'm in the mood for. <laughs>
Now I am ready to go to lunch. Thank you. <laughs> 28일 월요일인가? 응. 3월 1일이 화요일? I've got my big laptop. We're gonna move to another building to meet our supervisor. Would you like to be featured? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not alone, okay? I'm with my coworker. I'm not alone, okay? I'm not alone, I'm not alone. How many people did everything they were supposed to do? Everything? Yeah. Uh, just four people. <laughs> So we're only choosing one person for the story, right? Yeah, story. And then. So four people chosen. 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 So yeah, is it more expensive? Okay. Yeah. That was a very long meeting. That <laughs> lasted way longer than I expected. And to be honest, today wasn't that busy for me. Mm -hmm. I finished most of my stuff and I was like, what am I gonna do now? Well, I found out what I'm gonna do <laughs> because I just got so much so much work to do. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Voice Over Me. Sorry if my voice sounds weird. I'm actually sick right now, but it's not COVID, so don't worry, you're not gonna catch it. On this day, we did a last minute kind of emergency photo shoot because we actually ran out of content for the social media. Every few months, we try to do a really big photo shoot at a studio with like dozens of products and lights and camera action. But in the meantime, whenever we need fresh content like reels and stuff like that, we just go around the office and we find nice locations with good lighting. We set up the tripods and props and just kind of make do. It's pretty fun. It's a nice, um, it's a nice breakaway from you know typical life. We can get a bit more creative, and we always have uh, a good time, as you can see. really cold outside and I'm sitting in front of a huge window so that air is coming and I'm freezing but I remember that I have these little hot packs in my bag I'm so excited so I take it out and then you just shake it and it gets so warm and you just hold it in your pocket I have three of them so as you can tell, I kind of just migrate around the office from day to day. I'm always working in different spots depending on my mood. This is the lounge. We can eat in here, chat in here. It's a bit louder, more free. You can take phone calls. So I work here sometimes as well uh, when I need to talk more with my coworkers. Um, then of course, plenty of meetings for the rest of the week. I have a meeting almost every single day just to make sure we're all on track. And uh, yeah, that pretty much concludes my office footage for now. So that's pretty much a typical week in my life. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful or at least just entertaining. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below. I know I'm a bit vague, but it's because, you know, 
every internship's different. It's hard for me to just speak generally about everything. So if you have any specific questions, please comment below and I'll do anything I can to help um, about internships or just life in general. I love talking to you guys in the comments and helping when I can. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.